Uh, when it comes to elections, though, what do you need? You need a good commercial, right? A good campaign commercial. That's how you get elected. Get or a, or get, a really bad one. Where you just, you know, where you bash your opponent. Dude, or just brag about yourself? I'm going to ask you a couple questions. You're going to get the answers in a second. What happens when you campaign using zombies as your platform? Well, that's hard to bash. I mean, you got to respect that. Yep. Uh, hard. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when you uh, spray yourself with pepper spray? Or if you're not good with words? You're going to find all that out here. Because we have some of the worst campaign commercials. Not only of all time. But then we're going to get to the ones just from this year, just from this midterm. Some of these are awful. I, mean, I don't like you have to think about how much money goes into campaigns and how much money they spend to run these commercials. And then they run these th like this has to get by so many people like, yep, run with it. Go I, with it. I want to take you back to 2010, Brett. I want to introduce you to Basil Marco. He was running for government governor of Tennessee, and he's not great with words. I want you to put me in this building, the Capitol behind me here. So I can do my issues and make you all more freer than you were yesterday. I, I want you to put me in this building. So I can help you with your issues and make you freer than yesterday. That's the campaign. You know they could do another take. You can feel comfortable with it. Like go run it, run it back, man. You know who doesn't need another take? Chuck Norris. When you campaign with Chuck Norris, this is Mike Huckabee with with uh, Chuck Norris. Back in 2007. Message from Governor Mike Huckabee. My plan to secure the border. Two words. Chuck Norris. Okay, that's just funny, right? And, and, let's, and that when works, you're, though. When you're listening to these, take all your political views aside. This has nothing to do with political views. This is all about how ridiculous some of these campaign campaigns no, are. Chuck no matter Norris what party is a you great, are. It, who I vote? I go back and vote right now. Chuck Norris solves everything. Who needs I, a wall when you got Chuck Norris? I would like to introduce you to, I don't know if you remember this person who uh, was definitely in politics before he had a TV show, Mr. Jerry Springer. Some nine years ago, I spent time with a woman I shouldn't have, and I paid her with a check. I wish I hadn't done that, what? and the truth is, I wish no one would ever know. But in the rough world of politics, opponents are not about to let personal embarrassments lay to rest. That was his campaign. I wish no one could find out that I paid this woman with a check. What the hell? 1980. That was... He's like, I should have used cash. Venmo wasn't around back then. Finally. <laughs> this guy's name is Vermin Supreme. That's what he named himself. Vermin. And in the video, he has... He, like, he changed his own nickname? Yep. He, okay. He has a boot on his head. And he campaigns hard. I want you to listen to this whole thing and the things that he campaigns on. And then decide... What political party you want to be in? Are as follows. I'm the only candidate who will fully fund time travel research. I will go back in time. I will kill the infant Hitler with my own bare hand. Number two, zombie preparedness. When the dead rise from their graves, things start flying at your doors and your windows. You're going to wish you voted for me. Number five, uh, mandatory toothbrushing laws. That's right, mandatory toothbrushing toothbrush laws. laws. Need the most important issue. We must force the Americans to brush their teeth. Yep. Free ponies for all Americans. Free ponies. Oh my God. Issues in America. So like to address my uh, harnessing the awesome power of zombies uh, for energy sources. Ha harnessing the uh, amazing power of zombies for energy sources and free ponies for everybody. You're voting for certain. For this vermin. dude could go back in time. Hell yeah, I'm voting for him. He was going to kill Hitler with his own two hands. He technically can't lose. Yeah, if he right. lost, he would just go back in time until he won. These are real commercials <laughs> that happen, people. These are insane.